Because you're looking straight ahead, it ain't helping me. No. If you look straight ahead, you look like you're looking inside of space. Man, these YouTube things are different. It's like, hey, you can't look over you can't look over there, but you gotta look over here, sorta. I'm new to this. I don't know nothing about this. This is totally different. I have no intro. <laughs> I guess this is the intro. That's Dan. Yes, hello. <laughs> And this week, I decided that um, we'd play a game of 16 questions because uh, we just celebrated 16 years of being together. So like those Cosmo questions? Cosmo questions. You know, like the magazine? Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Question one. Who's the earliest to go to bed? I am. How so? Oh, uh, well, you know, we got to be at work at five o'clock in the morning, God. But I would argue that I'm the earliest because I sleep the most. Well, come on, you got to be, we got to be at work at five o'clock in the morning. Okay, it only takes me 15 minutes to get to work, so. And it only takes him five minutes to go to sleep. Question two. Old age. Who wakes up first? I do. <laughs> Why is that? I, I'm a morning person. I just can't help but to get up. He's right. <laughs> if I could, I'd sleep for eternity. I love sleeping. <laughs> How long have we been together? Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> but it could be a two part answer. We've been together 16 years, but how many years have we been married? Eight. Only eight? Are you sure? Sounds good to me, you know. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> what's your favorite song? Or what's my favorite song? Or what's our favorite song? Any, any one of those. Go about. Okay, let me just answer the question. Heaven by yes. Kim. Can you get past that song on the album? Nope. Oh, it's track two. And we stayed at track two for months. Yes. <laughs> Forget the rest of the album. Just one, two, that's it. I love that song. Uh, what city was I born in? And I'll tell you what city you were born in. Okay, Brooklyn. Oh, it was so easy. Uh, you were born mm -hmm. in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yes. On a military base. Yes. Yes, I was. He knew I knew that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who does the most housework? Yeah. He doesn't do dishes. The best gift he ever got was an apartment with a dishwasher. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yes, that is living there. Welcome to the modern world. Now, if only we can get a dryer, our house would be complete. Yes, it would be. Uh, favorite movie? Mine or yours? Um, mine. Grease. He got it on the first try! <coughs> um, oh, what's your favorite movie? I got too many. He has so many. Um, but I know like the one movie that he was really gung-ho on getting was the Superman versus Batman movie. Yes. Now, I know many people don't like it. I liked it. But no, but for my favorite movie, I can sit down and watch any time. If it comes on, the, on TV, The Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah, that's a good movie. What is your most favorite thing about me? Uh, well, you're easy. Well, not easy in that sense, you know, people get your mind out the gutter, but just <laughs> easy going and easy to know. 
I think so. Some people would argue otherwise. Well, hey, they don't know you, so fine. <laughs> what's what's my favorite cuss word? I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't really have a favorite cuss word. Every once in a blue, I'll let it rip, but I don't have a favorite one. I know what his is. It's the F word. He says it a lot. It drives me crazy. I sometimes want to wash his mouth out with soap. It can be used in so many different ways. Whatever. I hate that word. But I'll agree, sometimes it has its place. Where do we meet? Technically or physically? Where did we meet? Tell the world. Okay, world, here's what happened. It happened on a computer, an actual computer. Mm -hmm. When it was so innocent and new and everything, now it's like a wasteland of debauchery and all this and that. So, well, so yes, um, we met on a computer. And the website, uh, if it's still around, it probably is, uh, blackplanet.com. And I just happened to have this page up and just, you know, you could just put your HTML stuff in there and have and everything. And he had his picture. I don't know if I had that picture up. He had this picture, it was a black and white picture. And he was like, kind of like staring off like this. And he was real serious. <laughs> okay. Probably, yeah. That's me, yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's. So that's where we met, online. No, physically. On blackplanet.com. What was our first date? We went to the movies to see Serendipity at the AMC Theater Empire 25. Mm -hmm. And slip this in another fun fact. What was funny is Thursday when we celebrated our um, 16 year anniversary, um, we went to see A Mountain Between Us, which just happened to be another romance. What's funny is I had no idea what the movie was about. I just knew Idris Elba was in it. Yeah, I didn't know what it was about either, so. I'm surprised he didn't know what it was about because typically he knows what all the movies are about before we go see them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like to figure out what this is not. Whose family is craziest? <laughs> Why? So many people. My family is very eclectic. Yes. yes and this includes all my extended family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All you Puerto Ricans out there. All you other black Americans out there. We're all nuts. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, who the black Americans are? Then I realized who they were. <laughs> this is <all> right. <laughs> For those of you keeping count, we're now at question 14. Who is the loudest in this relationship? <sighs> loudest how? Loudest, like obnoxious loud. I'll answer it for you. I'm, I don't think either one of us is really loud. Um, he's never really been loud. I come from a pretty loud family. Um, I'll admit when I get around the family, I get really loud because you're always like kind of like um, fighting for listening time. <laughs> so everyone's always competing. And I think it's also the New Yorker in us because you know, we're from Queens. Well, he's not from Queens, but I'm originally from Queens. And those Queens people out there know that we're always like shouting. And it's not like we're fighting, we're just always shouting. So on top of being Haitian, we're also from Queens. We're New Yorkers, we're loud. We, we you know, we're screaming facts every five seconds. <laughs> And I just stay in my little introverted little bubble when I'm right. over there. It's so when like, I'm with don't. the family, like, yeah. But, you know, there's a time and place for everything. And for the most part, since we've been together, we kind of like, we like it low key. 
We like yeah. it, you know, kind of even kill. We laugh. We laugh big yes. when we do. But other than that, you know, we like to chill and keep it low key. So that's why when the neighbors lose their minds, yeah, <laughs> it's it's quite entertaining. Except when you're trying to sleep. Yes. Thank goodness they haven't done that in a while. Don't worry about you jinxing it. I'm not jinxing it. I think we'll be fine. Um, question fifteen: Who said I love you first? Well, yeah, me. No, you didn't. Oh. No, you didn't. Like where? When? Okay, please explain this one to me, folks. I, I, I'm really interested I in said, this one. The first time I you can't say it away from the camera. No, 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 no. no. I, <laughs> I just want to see this. The first time I told him I love him, he didn't even hear me say it because I distinctly remember I was on the bus. And I believe I was heading home from seeing him because I lived in Queens still and he lived in the Bronx. And we were talking on the phone and when we were getting off the phone, I said, I love you. And he like mumbled something, but then the phone went dead. He turned into my dad, you know, my dad doesn't say anything. He just hangs up the phone. So then the next time it happened, he said it because I felt like he didn't say it back. So he actually said it because he was under the influence of alcohol. He was out hanging with his friend Larry and then he called me, he drunk called me and he was spewing uh, like rainbows, unicorns and butterflies. And he says to me, I love you. So I said it first. He said it second. Listen. His was more interesting because he said it in a drunken super. Listen to everybody, don't drink. Drinking <laughs> is okay, as long as you do it in the company of friends and people that you love and care about that you know that won't make fun of you. Or though, if they make fun of you, it's in a loving manner. Question 16, dinner or movie? If you can only choose one, what would you choose? I took the dinner. I knew he would say that. Look, dinner invites room for conversation. No, I think it's because he's always hungry. No. He's no. always hungry. Mm -hmm. Not always. He likes to eat. So you will take the movie over the dinner? Because I'm typically not hungry. Okay, keep that in mind for now. Oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah, I have to keep that in mind. No, mind. it's just, uh, you know. So, what's the point of having dinner or a movie? No, this says dinner or a movie. That's what the question is. If you could choose one, which would you choose? And you would choose a dinner. And I was just saying that I figured that you would like that. That you would choose that. Because you like food. You know, food, it, it doesn't excite me. <laughs> The only time is it excite me if it's something that I've been craving for a long time and then I can eat a million of them. But it's the company that I take kind of means it's not the movie. Well, I mean, you're still in company like, in a movie. I mean, the movie is like you get a crappy movie and you sit there like, what the? You get. You get but you can still stuff. like chat and talk and giggle and have fun. Okay. Okay. But it's your choice. It's fine. There's no wrong answer with that. It's just what you choose. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a test. <laughs> you don't get graded at the end. Yeah, it's a cosmo test. That was the 16th question. But my bonus question, who is my celebrity crush? Oh my gosh. All right. Now, oh, the latest one or the, or the all-time one? <laughs> Now, okay. Okay, the, What's the, who's the latest? Oh, jeez. The man that plays Luther Idris. Okay, now for people, the movie that we just saw, yes, there is a love scene, folks. You get to see him without no shirt and being romantic. Now, the other person is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. You know, he's just... Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, yeah. 
I told him if he ever walked in the room, I'd forget that he existed. Hey, meaning him. Mm -hmm. I accepted it. I accepted it. It's, it's bound to happen. But... Don't worry. <laughs> A man must accept these things. It's like, it remembers to keep you humble. Like, look, yeah, it's going to happen. Well, that was 17 questions. That extra question was for good luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we make it to year 17, you know, it'll be another like interview with a vampire. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, this was this week's video. And I just wanted to introduce you guys to this guy. His name's Dan. Sometimes we're known as Double D. That's what our mom calls us. Well, yeah. our mom meaning his mom. Yes. <laughs> or D squared. D squared. Yeah, double D. Dan and Daph. Mm -hmm. Unless we're really close, you can't call me Daph, though. Only my close friend. That was this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe down below. All right, and leave a comment down below. Wish us a happy anniversary. Yeah, that would be nice, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs yeah. up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've already subscribed, I thank you and I appreciate you for that. And remember, hit those notifications. Oh, I never tell them about notifications. Hey, that's no thing, man. I got some people that already have them on. Well, that's for the people who don't know. Okay. So go ahead. We'll start hitting that bell. Okay. And my newest thing is go ahead and share this video. Um, maybe somebody else would be interested in uh, hearing us talk. Watch my last video. Get to see me put on my face. I don't have my face on today, but it was a good video. You, still you should check job. it out. Thank you. All right. So, All right. Bye. So, see you next time. Bye.